The girl on the train is number one this morning on the New York Times bestseller list. It debuted at the top spot in January, a feat unmatched by any novel in a decade. More than half a million copies are already in print, and we are so pleased to welcome the author. Her name is Paula Hawkins, and this is her first American TV interview. We thank you, Paula Hawkins. Thank you very much. This is what Stephen Hawkins said about your book. The girl on the train, really great suspense novel, kept me up most of the night. Yeah. I feel like Stephen Hawkins, because I, I, <laughs> it was I kept King. reading Stephen. some, too, because I was Stephen King. <laughs> Yeah, I probably, they both name. probably read it by now. It's that hot. I said it because I wanted to know what happened. And now I know and I won't spill the beans. But it's being compared to Gone Girl. Did you have Gone Girl in mind when you were writing this book? Um, I didn't actually. I was. I think I was thinking more along the lines of Hitchcock, A Rear Window, The Lady yeah. Vanishes, that kind of atmosphere of suspicion and paranoia and self-doubt. But yeah. you had... Go ahead. No, no, but but the, it has in common, there's a missing wife and yeah. it has a title, Girl in the, in the yeah, title. But that's does. about really it. After yeah. that, it's very different. But it you had different. written four novels, mm -hmm. but this was your, as a, you're a financial writer. This was the first one you, writ, you had written in your own name. That's Why right. this one? Um, the other novels were, were commissioned. This one came completely from me. This was the, the, the book I really wanted to write. I'm interested in crime. I'm interested in the dark side of psychology. And so this, this was really my book. No, but you have said that this was like the last throw of the dice for you. Mm -hmm. It and was to some degree. Um, I was, the last um, other novel I'd written did not set the world on fire. And I, I basically needed to, 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 to make some money. So how desperate were you? Oh, I wasn't about to be out on the street, but, no, but you know, the, uh, things were getting a bit tight. The wolf was at the door. Ben, you sent it to a, uh, a publisher without knowing or disclosing the end. I did know the end. I hadn't written it yet. Ah. No, no, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. But did you tell them? I did, yes. Okay. I'd sketched it out for them, yeah. And they were excited knowing because the plot yeah. centers around Rachel. Yes, it She's does. a divorced alcoholic who watches a couple that she doesn't know because she takes on, a lot of trains. From the train. From yes. the train. On mm -hmm. her commute every and day. And then she sees something very interesting and then it begins and, yeah. and then, then we're off to the races, so to speak. That's were you a big train rider? I, well, I've commuted into various bits of London from various other bits of London and I used to love doing that. that um, you know, looking into people's houses as you go past and just imagining what their lives were like. I like doing that too. Yeah, yeah. Like, what you start to feel like, like yeah. a sense of connection and almost like you know them. Uh -huh. And then I started wondering idly with what I would do if I saw something surprising or shocking. Or you, know. well, you have a novel right now. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so when you were a financial journalist from the get-go, did you say, I'm really a novelist, that's what I want to do, and that's what I want to be, and that's why I'm here? It was more a dream than a plan, so I, did, I always wrote fiction on, you know, on the quiet, on the yeah. side, but it wasn't a career plan. I don't think anyone thinks, goes into um, fiction as like a career. <laughs> you don't think this is the sort of thing going to happen to you. Are you already on work on the next one? I am, yes. Ah. <laughs> Any previews? No. <laughs> no previews allowed Sorry, at all. Sorry, not yet. Um, so have, uh, let me, one quick thing about yeah. the movie. Do you have somebody in mind that you would like to see cast I I was as Rachel? Oh, Rachel's a really tough one to cast. I sort of thought about Megan. I wondered about Michelle Williams, but Rachel's really tough to cast. So if anyone has any suggestions, I'd be interested in here. Yeah. Sorry. Did you drink gin and tonics on the train when you watch these people, as Rachel does? <laughs> Not it's on the like way to work, generally, the... <laughs> but um, I have occasionally on a Friday evening had a can of gin and tonic. It, re <laughs> it really picks up quick. I mean, it, it, it sort of it captures you, you really yes. quickly, doesn't it? Yes. It's yeah. great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, how has it changed your life? Well, the book's only been out for a month, so um, it, nothing's really changed quite yet. Um, I've just been on a whirlwind tour of the state, so that was new. But... Mm -hmm. um, no, I, it, hasn't, it hasn't really changed anything. And this yet. involves some exes in the book, and you live with your ex, Paula. I do. My ex-boyfriend is my lodger. Yes, your lodger. Is that <laughs> your lodger? Okay, because Rachel has an ex, too. So yeah. is he concerned at all? I don't think so, no. Because, I mean, I'm telling you, it, 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 it zigs and it zags, and there's a, there's a lot of, uh, it's about betrayal, it's about infidelity, yeah. it's about love lost and trying to get love back. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's, our relationship is not like that. We're, we're like family these days. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what do you awesome. like most about the book? Yeah. Um, I think there's an atmosphere of menace, and um, I think that's the thing that's really compelling, that every day, it's an everyday situation, but there are dark things lurking just underneath the surface, and I think that's something that, that I, I'm drawn to. Yeah, one of the best lines is, life is not a paragraph and death is no parenthesis. That's so true in this book. Paula, congratulations. Thank you very congratulations. much. Paula, drawn to the menace. Drawn <laughs> on the train is on sale right now.